Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Term Tuesday. I am so excited you're here today. We are going to be doing something a little bit different today. If you don't know, there is a new or semi-new feature on Instagram Lives where you can pull up a photo while you're going live kind of to help your audience understand things better and have a visual representation rather than just sitting here and like talking to you and we're gonna try it out today so I'm really excited about that so thank you so much for joining us for Tech Term Tuesday today we are going to be chatting all about SEO and I love SEO I really hope to give you some knowledge so that you learn to love SEO because it is an absolute game changer for your online business or any business really at all. If you have an online presence, you absolutely need to have SEO. So I have a ton of notes today. So if you see me looking off to the side, that is what I'm doing. There is a lot of information regarding SEO that I wanted to give you today. This is still just an introduction, but I think that you're going to learn a lot from this little training today. So we are going to be going over what exactly SEO is, what it stands for, how you can implement it in your business on your website and in other places online and i'm also going to be sharing with you our number one favorite tool for your wordpress website so seo <laughs> let's start with what does it mean and it means a search engine optimization oh so sad my little emojis didn't show up there but that's okay we'll still go with it <laughs> So search engine optimization, okay, those words are a little, um, you know, not everyday words that you might use. So what exactly does that mean? In other words, it really is the practice of optimizing your online content for search engine results. So in short, you want to make sure that your website is full of the exact keywords that your ideal client would be searching online so you will show up in their google search results it's basically that simple i'm going to get really transparent with you here and share with you our very own search results so we just launched and released our website and everything in about mid to late November. And we are already three months later showing up on the sixth page of Google search results for the, the key phrase, web design for female entrepreneurs. Now, is the sixth page of Google search results ideal? No. Of course it's not. But when you take into account that the search results for web design for female entrepreneurs comes back with over 132 million results and the fact that we've only been fully launched and had our website up for about three full months, the sixth page of Google is not too bad at all. And it's only going to get better. The more that you fill your website with these keywords and phrases, the more you will show up on Google search results for those keywords and phrases. So now you understand what SEO actually is, but how do you actually put it into place? So I kind of mentioned this in the last bit, but you basically would first want to brainstorm exactly what keywords you want to be associated with and what keywords your ideal client would be searching. So you don't want to use any technical terms that your you know, ideal client doesn't even know yet or any words that your client just doesn't use, you wouldn't want to 
you know, focus on those kind of keywords because your client just wouldn't be searching those like super technical terms or if it is like a very niche topic that, um, you know, there's some jargon where people just don't typically use those words unless they're in that industry. You would want to stay away from those kind of things and really just Think about what your ideal client, how they speak and what kind of words they would be using in Google to find someone who does what you do, if that makes sense. So like I mentioned, our number one key phrase is web design for female entrepreneurs, because that is what our ideal client would be searching in order to find a web designer for her business. So. Once you have your key phrase or keywords, your job is then to fill your website and anything that comes back or anything that offers a search result where you would then come back as a result, like Pinterest, you want to fill your website, fill your Pinterest um, descriptions and things like that with those phrases and keywords. The more times that you use those phrases and keywords, the more Google can crawl your website and see that you talk about this topic a lot and your website should be shown to people who are searching for those keywords. Okay, so lastly, I wanted to share our favorite free WordPress plugin that'll help you to take your SEO really to the next level. So you can, of course, just focus on trying to add in those keywords as many times as possible. But if you use something like the Yoast SEO plugin, it'll help you really optimize every single blog post and page on your website. So it kind of gives you a grade of the content that you are creating. And it will allow you to change the meta description, which is the little blurb that you would get if somebody was searching something and you showed up. It's the little blurb that people see, like kind of like a description of the page or the blog post. And it's just another place where you can add in your keywords or phrases. So they also give you a ton of other, you know, helpful tips. And I've included a screenshot of um, one of the results that we had come back. So they will help you, you know, determine whether or not your title is SEO friendly. If you have enough of the keyword or key phrases mentioned, um, you know, the minimum number of times or even if like the alt tags of your photos are filled out and they just give you a ton of different things that you can do to fully, fully optimize your SEO. And it's free too, so <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, so there you have it. That was just a little introduction to SEO. I hope you learned something today and you are excited to go and optimize Anything that will give a search result, you want to optimize it with your keywords or key phrases. And if you liked this Tech Term Tuesday and thought it was interesting, then I really would love for you to sign up for our free masterclass in just a couple of weeks. We are putting on a masterclass that is the six steps you need to go from influencer to entrepreneur. You don't have to be a full on like hundreds of thousands of followers influencer. This is for anybody who has a following and wants to learn a way to monetize it and to also create a full on business from their following and not just um, working with brands and things like that. So if you are interested at all on joining the free masterclass, then I will have the link in this IGTV video below or the link is in our um, link in our bio. So I hope you enjoyed the latest installment of Tech Term Tuesday and let me know what you want me to cover next week. 
I would love to cover something that you have been wondering about and just can't quite grasp. I would love to make a video about it. So leave me a comment below and let me know what you want to see next week. And I will see you then. Thank you for watching. Bye.